What's up, race fans? My name's Owen, and welcome back to the Ben Fender Podcast. And in this one, I will be reviewing the uh, NASCAR Coda race, or Circuit of the Americas. So, uh, before the race, uh, we had a couple notable uh, entries. So, Jimmy Johnson, Connor Daly, uh, Kimi Raikkonen, and Jensen Button are in the field. Um, then Jordan Taylor is filling in for Chase Elliott, since Elliott is still out. Um, as well as, um, uh, Gunther Steiner, who is the Haas F1, like, principal, was in the broadcast booth this week. So... That was a little bit weird to see, but I kind of liked what he brought to the booth. Um, also, since this is the first road course of the year, uh, there are no stage breaks, so no cautions at the stage end. And then uh, Michael McDowell went to the rear for some reason. So, the first stage was 15 laps. Uh, William Byron uh, is on pole. Tyler Reddick in position two in uh, P2. At the start of the race, they went were clean through the first turn. Um, then Kozlowski spins. And uh, Busher avoids. He ends up hitting Ty Dillon, who, get, who goes in, who hits... Uh, Jimmy Johnson bringing out the first caution of the race and Ty Dillon and Jimmy Johnson are out of the race Jimmy didn't even last a fucking lap <laughs> before getting taken out alright after that uh, Austin Sindrick takes the lead then um Chase Briscoe spins off uh, Justin Haley, uh, but it stays green. Uh, then Joey Logano gets a, a pass-through penalty for cutting the corner through the S's, which uh, on this track, there it was no track limits other than through the S's, which was turns to... Through uh, one, two, three, four, like eight, like seven, eight. I think the S's are. Go away, Steam. Don't need you. Uh, af after that, uh, Tyler Reddick takes the lead. Then Cindric Reed takes the lead. Um, then Denny Hamlin and Corey LaJoy get passed through penalties for cutting the S's. Um, then Bubba Wallace just takes out Larson and also hits, uh, who was behind him? I forget who was behind him. Um, then, uh, Cody Ware spins a little, like, in the next turn or so. Then uh, De Denny Hamlin spins Larson before he could get to the pit road. And that brings out the second caution. Uh, Bubba Wallace is out of the race. Um, I think he ended up losing his brakes. Which... Um, yeah, I think he lost his brakes, that's why he couldn't continue. Uh, after that, Corey LaJoy gets another penalty for too fast entering the pits. Uh, then William Byron, uh, takes the lead, and William Byron ends up winning stage one. And after stage one, there were three cars out, and I don't think any were lapsed down at this point. Uh... 
Stage 2 was also 15 laps. Um, Brad Kozlowski spins off Blaney. Then Blaney spins off Larson a couple turns later. Uh, Connor Daly off track. They never really said what happened to him. But he ended up um, not finishing the race. So he ended up... He's out of the race. Uh, after that, green flag pit stop start. Uh, then Corey LaJoy uh, was posted uh, and forced to pit because he was dragging his diffuser. Then uh, Austin Sindrick uh, slows to a stop. But I don't think that brought out a caution. I think he was able to get back to... Oh, no. Austin Cedric had a slow stop. Not slows to a stop. Um, after that, the leaders pit as Ruddick takes the lead. And Tyler Ruddick wins stage two. So, at the end of stage two, there are two cars lapped down and four cars out. And going on to the chaos that was the third stage... It was 38 laps. Uh, Larson had a too fast entering penalty. Uh, Gibbs has a pass through for shortcutting the S's. Uh, Chris Buescher takes the lead. Then William Byron takes the lead. Uh, then Christopher Bell gets uh, turned around. After that, uh, Tyler Reddick takes the lead. Um... Then the third caution for the de debris, as in uh, one of the corners in the S's, there was like a giant patch of just dirt because people people kept like hitting the dirt from the side of the track and bringing it onto the track. So they were like, "Yeah, we got to stop this so we could clean that up." Uh, after that, Joey Logano ends up taking the lead. But after the first corner, uh, Byron assumes the lead. Then uh, Reddick and Byron trade the lead back and forth for a little bit. As Reddick ends up leading it. Uh, then Kyle Larson um, was slowed on track. It looked like he had a broken toe link. Um... Then uh, Ryan Priest got a penalty for shortcutting the S's. And then he also got a penalty for speeding in the pits. Uh, then Kozlowski spins again. Then Kozlowski ends up stopping on the track, bringing out the fourth caution. And Kozlowski is out of the race. After that, uh, Tyler Reddick won the race off pit road. But uh, Christopher Bell takes the lead since he did not pit. Um, then on the next restart, Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, and AJ Allmendinger get turned around in turn one. That brings out the fifth caution. Um, AJ Allmendinger is the only car out of the race for for uh, this one. Uh then Tyler Reddick takes the lead. William Byron takes the lead. Uh, Christopher Bell gets dumped. Then um, Tyler Reddick takes the lead. Then we have another debris caution for our sixth caution. Um, then off the restart, there were a couple cars around on turn one. Which were Blaney, Gregson, and Pierce. And uh, Priest. Uh, Blaney and P Priest had major damage. So that brought out the seventh caution. Um, then off, uh, off the next race start, uh, Martin Truex Jr. gets spun. Then. Like a couple turns later, Justin Haley spins. Then like another turn later, Michael McDowell spins. And that brings out the 8th caution. 
of the race. Uh, af after this restart, um, Alex Almirola spins. Um, then Christopher Bell had a lot of damage, but he ended up uh, getting back to the pit, so it was fine. Then uh, Tyler Reddick wins this Coda race. So the top five were Tyler Reddick, uh, Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, Ross Chastain, and William Byron. Reddick and Byron were the two dominant cars all day. Reddick was better in the braking zones when By well Byron was better on like the long straights. But Reddick just outbroke and outdrove him. Um and a couple notable finishes for all the racers, all the new racers that came in for this race. Uh, the best finisher was Jensen Button, who was 18th. Then it was uh, Jordan Taylor, who f finished 24th. Then Kimi Raikkonen, who finished 27th. At one point, uh, Kimi was up to 9th. And then he just dropped like a rock. Like... He was in like ninth with like 10 laps to go or something. And then uh, the two DN two drivers who didn't finish uh, were Connor Daly and Jimmy Johnson. Daly fi ended up finishing 36th and Jimmy 38th. All in all, this race was pretty fun. It was uh, It was a great race to watch, definitely. The, the battle up front was intense all race. The uh, no stage cautions definitely made this race a lot better to watch. Um, I'm going to give this race a 9 out of 10 on my rating scale. Um, also, one thing I want to add... Um, while we're racing, can we stop going to full commercials? Keep doing the split screen, the picture in picture screen, please. That is much better. I was going to say that's after last race, but I forgot. And reason is we miss cautions. Like, Last year, I think, ha like, most... There was a lot of times when the caution came out during commercial, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, so, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, as well as go check out my other two channels, one being my main channel of FanRantan, where I do... Lego builds, Pokemon openings, and I do gaming uh, streams. Uh, that is called Fan Rantan. Please go check that out. Also, go check out my second channel where me and my friends play Dungeons and Dragons. That is called Drunkards and Dumbasses. You can also find us uh, there and on Spotify under the Boundless Shores. So please, please go check that out, and please join me me next week when I review the Richmond race. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.